Hey y'all, it's Pam again with Mason Lance Designs and today I'm coming to you with a Zoom Notes um, plan with me video and I'm showing you tips and tricks, not necessarily like planning a whole month or a whole week, but just showing you some um, things that I did um, to plan using the different tools. And so here we go. Okay, I've got the seven kind of big and I left it that way for a reason. Because when we um, click the selection tool and I go to make it small, okay, and try to size it. Not that it's hard, okay? It just takes more time to, you know, try to get it exactly like you want it, okay? But if I come up here to the selection tool, which is right to the right of the A, the text tool, and I click on it, and then at the top right corner, I click on the tools icon and see the top one says selection guidelines. So I turn that on. <clears throat> And then there's selection guidelines. You can see the lines pop up. So then I can just scroll in and completely match it up. And it goes really quick when you're putting in your numbers um, for the month. And the first time you uh, do it, okay, you see how it was kind of a struggle there for a second. I've noticed if one side is not like up high, high enough to the rest where you want it, Instead of trying to move it because the lines get in the way, just touch the one corner of the side that you want to fix. I don't know if that made sense because I had it here and it wasn't it wasn't wanting to sit where I wanted it. So if I put it here and I scroll and I use the top left and pull it up and then the top bottom and then it it very quickly sizes to where you want it. Okay, so that's that pretty much for the monthly and then we're gonna take a look at the weekly sorry I skipped a page okay I have um, several things going on here that I'm gonna show you first off is going to be the layers up here to the right where it says headers that little um, diamond shape is the layers tool and <clears throat> I don't know if you're familiar with layers and procreate um, but it took me a while to kind of get used to using these and sometimes I still mess up so um, if you notice the at the top where the washi is okay well I'm sorry you can't notice it look at the bottom where the uh, brown washi is it's translucent it's it's a PNG image you can see behind it well I kind of don't like to see the lines behind it and so um, the bottom layer here um, it says white spaces and so I created using the shape tool and I'm fixing to show you um, I created just like a blank white shape and put it on the bottom layer and then my next layer is always usually headers which is you know the decorating part like I'm doing and then once I'm done I lock that um, I lock that layer and then I come up to writing and that's how I um, kind of fill in my week I kind of learned that tip from uh, Rebecca Bennett in her videos Okay, so we're down here. It says white space is locked. We'll have to um, possibly go back to that. Let me erase these arrows. Okay, so I already have um, the white box made, but I'll show you real quick how I did it. Okay, see, I already have, you know, the style is the, um, the first one, the square. <clears throat> And be sure to click the draw shadow off because you don't really want a shadow. Um, and then if you want a border. I've kind of done a faint border if you can see. It doesn't really show up around the washi. It just kind of helps me to um, make it the size I want to. So I don't know how easy this will be to see. Okay, and then I can just sit and stretch it. Of course, this is way bigger than I need. I'm just showing you I can stretch it to exactly, you know, the size that I want it. Okay, and so that's what I did there. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, when I'm done making it, I can go here to the smiley face, to the symbols tool. And it dis... <laughs> and I still make that mistake. It'll be a while before I stop making that mistake. I'm sure it's habit. So I come over here and I click the plus sign 
so yeah, I'm not sure. I selected it. There we go, and I click the plus sign, and I've added that symbol. Now, of course, it's hard to see, but it's there, because I'm going to leave that, leave that highlighted, come over here, and click, and see, I'll have the box. And I'll have to resize, but I mean, it's quick to do, and, you know, you'll have it ready for the next time. So that's what I did at the top and the bottom, so that my washi... Um, you can't see, you know, the lines behind it. And so I just size the washi down. And sometimes, every now and again, you might have to turn the guidelines off because they just might, you know, aggravate you and get in your way. And so we kind of go to the top uh, and the bottom, you know, to fit it. And then usually I just... Uh, Whoops, sorry about that. I usually just copy and paste, to, you know, put it to the other side. And then that's how I put my washi on. And you don't have to worry about when I put it up there, you can see the lines behind it. You don't have to worry about that. So there's that. This um, other piece of washi that I brought on the screen. And I and I brought the, the stickers that I wanted to use because it would just save time because I didn't want this video to get too long. And I'm not sure why the stickers do that. Okay, so I'm going to uh, crop this, and you've got a rectangle where you can just, you know, crop by, by the sides, or you can do it freehand, and I'm thinking I'm going to do that one in another video. So what I do is I cut this washi in half, and I have found I really, really love this, and then I turn it side sideways, and it's easiest to do the turning of it when the selection that selection part is on that I showed you up in the selection tool and so here I can take it and I can either stretch it put it directly see that selection tool right now is getting in the way because I can't put it right where I want it because I kind of want it right in the middle and it looks like I cut off a little oh no I didn't there it is I'm sorry it's because I'm moving it and so this can separate my weekends and you can either stretch this washi or copy and paste to you know make another one to finish the page so sometimes I do that for my weekends sometimes I'll put it over on the left side it just depends on what I feel like doing but I really love this washi for that there's another washi that's similar to that this one that you can do that with um, that I'll have in, a, in another page that I'm working on. Okay, so for, um, let's put the guidelines back on. And so it just makes it easy if you're, you know, dragging things in. Let's just say I just, you know, drag these in to whatever size. And again, when you when you start off with your first of whatever you're wanting, kind of the same size, like if I start on Monday, you know, I make it the exact size I want it. And it might take a second or two longer, but then after that, it's just going to come, I mean, it's going to like pop right into size. And there's just something, I don't know, very kind of relaxing <laughs> to to doing that. See, I don't know why sometimes it just doesn't want to act quite right, but that's okay. I think all of them have a little, you know, glitches every now and again. And sorry for scrolling in so close. I just, that's how I, I like to work with it. And then it just kind of pops right into place. Now the Wednesday, because it's, you know, such a long word and a different size, that's pretty much where it wants to sit. So I just kind of left it there which is okay <clears throat> oh excuse me again so the next thing we want to look at um are the dates and the dates work exactly like everything else i've just showed you that pop, that pop into place however okay that one you see if you tap kind of like right in the center if you've already got it set on top of something you usually are able to 
you know, kind of tap it. And if it wants to grab everything, then just tap off of it and kind of tap to where it grabs it again. That way, if you wanted to decide to change the colors up there or, you know, whatever, it's sitting on top of the washi because that washi is still on this same layer, as you can see. That washi, see that washi strip here? That's still on the same layer as the dots. And you can do the same thing if you're writing on top of something. And I'll show you that in um, just a minute. So I'm looking at my list, making sure I'm covering everything. Okay. We talked about the line tool um, in another video where you just, you know, draw a line from point A to point B and you can make arrows and such. Well, um, I accidentally moved my lines around. And so I was just going to show you um, once the line up at the top, once the line tool is clicked on, you see how that yellow dot is there? Then you can, and to me, the closer you scroll in, the more um, exact you can be, and it moves where you want it. So I didn't want it quite that long, and I wanted it a little closer, right, okay. So that's that side, and then I'll scroll to the other side and make sure it's where I want it. And it's not quite there so I'll do the same thing I'll drag that yellow dot to where I want it and then click off of it and so that's how you do each one so basically what I did in the beginning is I just took you know once I started the line and I just drug it like across the screen and then you can you know scroll in and fix it exactly where you want it see how this one as you're scrolling across you can see is not where it needs to be Okay, so I'll fix the rest of those later. I was just showing you. Because <clears throat> I've been doing where my um, headers, you know, are like here going down. And here recently I saw a couple different people put them to the side. And it reminded me back when I was doing um, paper planning in the very beginning before I ever bought a planner. I would print stuff off the internet and that's how I would set my planner up and I loved using it that way. And then I started, you know, buying planners like the Happy Planner and stuff and it just, it kind of changed. And so I started digital planning and kind of forgot all about it. So I'm excited about, you know, trying this way again of um, doing them. Okay. So down here, this is what I was going to show you. This is um, like a little health section. Okay, so right here, as you can see, the bottom two say steps in water. And then I've used um, like this blank one right here that I pulled in. <laughs> Sorry about that, that I pulled in. Um, it's just a blank one. And that's what I put the blood pressure and heart rate on. Well, the heart rate I find is, you know, a little too big. So I've decided I want to change the size of it. Now, if I do this, it's going to change the whole thing, and I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that. And I think I might have just... Okay. Let's turn it off. I'm not sure why it's not going exactly where I want it. And there's some ways that I'm kind of still learning, too. I'm just sharing with y'all what I learned along the way. There's still lots more I need to learn. Okay, so instead of the lasso tool, I'm going to click the text tool or select the text tool and click on it. Now, I can drag it like halfway off so I can still read it, come back and click the selection tool. And then if I just want to make it smaller by resizing it, I can without resizing the whole thing. Or if you want like a specific, you know, number font, you know, specific size, then you can just, of course, um, I'm sorry, click on the text tool and then highlight, select all, and then you can change the number, you know, right there. You can slide it or put it in an exact number if, um, if that's what you want to do. Sometimes I do that and other times I don't. Okay. So there's that one. And let me double check if we've um, got the selection tool on. I've been in and out some, okay. So now I'm going to just resize this because I've decided I'm gonna put um, the word weight there to track my weight every day. 
or maybe just a couple times a week, however I want to do it. And then it popped right in there. So sometimes if you can't get it to set up just right, sometimes you have to go to another corner, you know, to pull it or drag it to resize it to fit. I've noticed that that, that um, has helped. So I think I've covered everything. I hope this wasn't too quick. Sometimes I talk too fast. I just wanted to show you some things um, that I was doing to make planning more efficient. That's why I love Zoom Notes so much because it just it makes it more relaxing and fun, I think, when you've got different tools that um, just make it quicker to do, then you can move on to creating <laughs> something else. I don't know. Maybe it's just a little of my ADD that enjoys doing it but doesn't want to spend, you know, hours, you know, creating one layout or whatever. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. So anyway, I will um, have some more videos for y'all here soon. And um, thank you for watching. Y'all have a great night. Bye.